Dude, the restroom doesn't have a freaking lid. Oh, where the heck is this water coming or going from? Oh my God, I'm scared. They are so bad, oh my God. But this one was sparkly. It's different. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming going to the worst reviewed nail salon in my city. Kind of nervous. So as you guys know, I previously went to the worst reviewed beauty store in my city. You guys loved it. I'm sorry? So I am back with another video except today we're going to the nail salon and this salon when I looked it up it was the worst reviewed in my city and I haven't even looked at the reviews and I'm kind of scared. You guys already know the drill. We're going to read the reviews and everything. Keep in mind these are my opinions guys. I will rate it based on how they treat me, how the service is, if I like how my nails come out. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions and this will be my own opinions. So without any further ado let's Let's go ahead and let's get started okay before i get started to reading the reviews i want to give a huge shout out to the creators that created this challenge i will leave their names in the description box in case you guys want to go check them out here are some of the reviews on the nail salon keep in mind the salon is overall reviewed with two and a half stars which is actually pretty low so let's see here's the first one i don't like my experience with this business i have used their service a total of four times the nails are sometimes the best Best, but only when they do not rush because of all the customers that they have so today it looks like it's pretty lonely so hopefully they do a good job with my nails okay next one okay I am new to Austin I came in for a refill and she told me $35 I told her I refuse to pay those prices because I pay 35 out of California for eyebrows a fill in with gel polish the lady was so rude and loud 35 for a refill seems a little bit expensive. I've gone to other places for refills and they're usually anywhere from 20 to 25. So 35 does seem a little bit overpriced. Really bad services. The lady is really rude. Everyone here is rude and just seems to do their job fast and don't care about if the customers like it or not. I do not recommend this place to nobody. I will never ever come to this nail shop again. It should be closed down seriously very rude and will harass you to give a tip wow that's actually pretty bad because i feel like that should be your it should come out of you if you want to give a tip or if you don't based if you like your nails or if you don't so the fact that they force you mm, i'm already kind of scared girl okay next one this was the most horrible experience of my life they didn't do a good job and after all they forced me to tip so that's already two people that are saying they force you to give tips okay oh no hold on horrible 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 the service is okay if you can deal with poor customer services and being harassed for tips so that's already three people that are saying that they harass you for tips that is insane guys hopefully they don't ask me for a tip because i'm gonna be like girl i'll give you a tip if i like them but if i don't then don't expect a tip from me okay please don't go here forty dollars down the drain save your time i even saw a spider and the owner is rude should be closed down wow two people already saying that this place should be shut down i'm actually really scared like these reviews are just bad guys bad next one is very rude i've never been charged to have jail removed from my nails until i came here and they harassed you for tips that's another person saying for tips. Wow. Low quality nails. Last time I'll come here, they charge you to remove gel from your nails. And I have been waiting here for about 20 minutes while some workers just sit and look at you. Wow. Don't come here, y'all. Not worth it. I would be pretty pissed off too. Imagine you're there waiting and then people are just sitting down, like just looking at you as like, hello, are you going to do my nails or not? So I would be pretty pissed as well. Horrible customer service, horrible environment, horrible work. The nail place just sucks. Never come here. <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaking scared. I didn't read the reviews. Like I literally just looked for the worst nail salon based on the ratings. And so this one was like the first one I found. I actually didn't want to read the reviews. I wanted to read them with you guys. So I'm actually so scared. <laughs> 
I kind of don't even want to do it, but we're gonna have a positive mindset. Maybe we have a good experience. You never know. Last one, very inexpensive, fantastic job on nails and pedicure and stays open late. FYI, Sundays, they close at 6 p.m., not 8 p.m. So as you guys saw, majority of them are really bad and then here and there there's some good ones that people have had good experiences so let's not get ahead of ourselves let's just go in and rate it based on my opinions on how they treat me if i like the nails if it's sanitary if they're friendly all that stuff so let's go ahead and get started with the video let's just go ahead i kind of don't want to go in girl because i'm so nervous after all the reviews that i read it seems like it's pretty bad but let's go inside of the nail salon and let's see what the whole tea is about i want to show you my nails really quickly before we go in so i don't feel like i need a new set maybe just a fill and i'm probably going to get a nude color because that's basically what i always go with but just wanted to show you really quickly the before and then the after This on the color? This on the powder? Yes. The powder will be $30. $30? Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure I have a color or not. Because the same color, I don't know sure I have or not. Mm. Yeah, so you can't put it in your color? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The new color, you need to take off do the new scent. Take off everything and do the new scent. How much is for a full set? And take off do the new set and uh, Total of $50. Do you have a wait time right now? Oh, check my line now. Uh, you wait 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just wait. Okay, guys, I'm in the restroom and it's making this weird ass noise. Do you hear that? Oh my god. But okay, can you guys believe she told me I couldn't get a fill because she said she didn't believe she had my nail color and because it was powder so I had to get a beautiful set I was like what I couldn't believe it but okay I, I feel like that was already kind of like a fat start like we started off the wrong foot um so yeah I'm getting a new full set of nails because she told me I couldn't get a refill. So I'm gonna pay $50. That's what I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay $50 for a new full set of nails. And she was actually very rude, but okay, here goes Lenny. Let's see how it goes. And this noise is freaking the heck out of me. Dude, the restroom doesn't have a freaking lid. Oh, where the heck is this water coming from? Girl. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm a scared girl, okay? Well, I actually do need a pee, so let me use the restroom. This one that you're getting in the color zero. Oh my god. Oh. You want this one, right? Looking for. Yeah, the 20. 20, but it's not gel. That's gel? Mm hmm. Yeah, hold on. You told me these were the color. So, which ones are the powder ones? The are the powder, and I don't know this one, and they saw the, the number of that. Yeah, it's oh, you don't have this one. Come on, you delivery for me. The last thing that I want to talk about with respect to your family is. Do you have. 75 left now. Ping up. This one? Huh? Alright guys, I got 20 and it's supposed to look like this one, but I doubt it. Oh my god guys, what the hell? Oh my god. They are so bad. Oh my god. Look how thick they are, dude. This one's like square and then this one's like oval shape. Oh my goodness. Well, they're the only two we just... 
All right, guys, this is the after. I showed you guys it before. This is the after girl. I don't feel like a new woman right now. Like, I just don't. Oh my god, guys, they are so bulky and they're not even like coffin shape. <sighs> wow. This was a complete different experience from going to the beauty store. So let me get comfortable. Let's let's start from the top. I walked in, she greeted me, and I was like, okay, she greeted me, you know. And then she was plain up rude. I said, I want a fill. She said, let me see your nails. I show her my nails and she says, is this powder or nail polish? And I say, it's powder. She says, you can't get a fill. I don't have the color that you currently have and it's powder so you can't get a fill. You need a new set. And I'm like, how much is it for a fill? And she's like 30. And I'm like, okay, how much is it for a full set? 50. I have never personally heard that they couldn't do a fill on my nails because of the powder and because they didn't have the exact same color. So then I asked her, can you use a different color powder maybe on top and still do the fill? And she says, no, you need a new full set. So at this point, I'm like, well, damn, I have no choice. I'm already here. Might as well just do the whole full set for $50, which is a little bit overpriced. And keep in mind, $35 for a fill, at least here where I live, personally, from what I have experienced, it's a little bit overpriced because usually it's anywhere from $20 to $30. So at that point, I'm like, okay, it seems a little bit overpriced and she was being a little rude to me. So then I asked her what the wait time is going to be because there's only two people working in there and they currently have one in the pedicure, one waiting and one getting a manicure. So they have a total of four people with me inside. She tells me it's going to be a 30 minute wait. So I'm like, okay, you know what? 30 minute, it's not bad. I'll just go ahead and wait. Five minutes passes by and she tells me to pick my color and she tells me the powder colors are in the rectangle display. So I choose from there and I choose my color which is number 20. So then they move me to another station and they leave me soaking my nails. Now here's where I need your help. If you're a no technician out there, please let me know what is the proper technique to remove your nails. She left me soaking my nails for one hour, guys. One hour. Usually when I go to the nail salon, it takes me max 45 minutes to get my nails done. And I'm like out of the nail salon. Usually when I go to other nail salons, what they do, at least to the one that I always go to, is they cut down my nail and then they use another acrylic nail and they just pop it off and then they start following my nails and applying the new set. So I was a little confused. I'm like, I don't know if this is the proper way to remove the acrylic nails with powder or if they just did it to not let me go because I was literally sitting there for a whole hour just soaking my nails. So let me know. But I waited a whole hour, which was a little bit too much already to wait for your nails. So then they're multitasking so much. They move from doing a manicure to a pedicure to doing brows. That didn't seem so sanitary, but they were all multitasking, like doing everything at once. And then once um, everything, all the powder comes out of my nose, she moves me to the other station, which I believe she seemed like she was the owner. So she moves me to that station and then she told me what color I wanted and I tell her number 20. She starts doing my nails and the color that I chose looked nothing like the color she put on my nails. So then I tell her it's not the color that I wanted and she gets so upset guys, like so mad. And I'm like, well, that's not the color that I wanted. How am I going to leave this along with a color that I didn't want? So then I tell her I want the second color that I choose and she puts it on and it's still nothing like the color it was on display. So that, I feel like it's not okay. If you have a color in display, it should be the exact same color you're going to be putting on your clients because that just throws you off. Like, how do I know the next color that I'm gonna choose is gonna be exactly as the display or it's gonna be totally different? At this point, I'm just like, okay, yeah, whatever, that's gonna work. Just give me that color. So as she is putting on the powder on my nails, a lady that got a manicure gives her the receipt and is about to walk out the door and she literally gets up, gets the receipt, and she goes, tip, 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 tip tip i couldn't believe it guys that she literally asked her for a tip i was just like what in the world i had never experienced someone just literally like chasing you for a tip you know so she continues to do my nails and she sees me looking at my nails because they seemed pretty bulky and 
pretty thick. So she's like, don't worry, honey, I'm gonna follow them and all this stuff. So at this point, she starts being more talkative. She starts a conversation with me and she, you know, becomes a little bit nicer. At first she was really rude and then she becomes a really nice. She seems pretty cool and she starts talking to me and everything. And then she tells me if I want to the clear coat, which is the one that makes your nose like super shiny like this. And I say, yes. So she finishes my nails. She charges me, which she charged me $50. I didn't give her a tip. The reason I didn't give her a tip, guys, is because I was in the nail salon for three hours, guys. Three hours. If I was a person that had to go back to work, if I was a person that was in a rush, I would have been so pissed off. Imagine three hours to get your nails done. Just acrylics. Like, what in the world is that? So... I was like, they're taking too long. She got mad when I asked her to change the color because it wasn't the color that I wanted. And she was really rude at me first. And they were multitasking, taking a long time. It was just little stuff like that, you know? So that is the reason I didn't give her a tip. $50, guys, for these nails, for me personally, is a little bit too overpriced because usually to the nail salon where I always go, I usually pay $45 max for just very basic nails. Nails, like one solid color and they're a little bit thinner than this is supposed to be coffin shaped but I feel like they're personally a little too thick for me and and then also that I always go to I pay 50 or 55 when I'm like I'm telling you when they're like extra nails like with diamonds designs rhinestones and all that stuff I pay max 55 so 50 for these nails for me was like I was like damn she ripped me off so I was like how am I going to leave you tip when literally you charged me fifty dollars for a full set and you didn't even let me do a refill um it was pretty clean inside the floor was pretty clean there were some areas that didn't seem so sanitary they did have the washer and the dryer literally right next to where you get your pedicure i had never seen that because usually like the salons have like a separate little room for like the washer and dryer and they literally had it right there next to where you get your pedicure done um the tools that they use seemed a little dirty and pretty old so my overall review for this nail salon is two stars keep in mind these are my opinions you might love this nail salon some people might hate it other people might love it but these are my opinions and this was my experience so yeah i probably won't be coming back here trust me i'm not gonna come back here but i mean overall it was a pretty cool experience to just come to a different nail salon that everyone rates really low and i got to experience my own experience so other than that guys that completely today's video stay tuned guys because guess what we hit 400k thank you so so much and in the next video make sure to subscribe girl make sure to subscribe because in the next video i'm going to have a huge giveaway because we hit 400k and this is my way of thanking you guys so make sure to subscribe turn your post notifications and stay tuned for the next video because you're not going to want to miss it i will be announcing the giveaway and you never know you might be the lucky winner so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you want to join our family and be part of the pita family then don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one bye my loves